I'm Lel, welcome to my YouTube uh, channel where I share my farming journey with you guys and my small flock. So one of our ewes is lambing and um, she'd started about, I'd say tea time I should say she started lambing around about five o'clock um, but we've left her to it because we don't want to interfere if we don't need to interfere. Um, so yeah, she's pushing a little bit. So I've just come back to check on her progress. So when I left the polytunnel at six o'clock, so what's that, 40 minutes ago now, um, she hadn't had a water bag out, but she was pushing and there's still nothing out. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pop her in a small pen and just have a look. There she is there. So I'm just gonna have a look. So plan of action is I'm going to leave this ewe in this pen here and I'm just going to leave her nice and quiet on her own and I'm just going to let her progress nice and steadily. Um, like I said, she's not open up enough yet to give birth so she just needs a bit more time. So I am quite literally <laughs> got my hands inside this lovely girl right here right now and I'm just checking what's going on. So she's not opened enough yet um, but she is opening more. Um, and I can't quite get my hand in, but I can feel, I can feel a little lamb, <laughs> which is what we want, but she needs to open a little bit more first. So I've popped back and from what I can see, she's not made any progress at all, except she's scratched all her bed up. So I'm going to see what I can do. Right, Lel, where are we going now? So we're off to the vets because a sheep I have had lamb in for a little bit now still isn't open at all her cervix isn't open um, and it doesn't look like she will be opening so we're off the, to the vets for a cesarean so fingers crossed we get good results <laughs> but that's not her feeling it that's just muscle reacting right to need to cut into it but that's not her no well she's she doesn't care does she, she no, no. <laughs> there's no pain whatsoever maybe decent size so imagine she might have a decent size lamb in there yeah we are yeah having quite big yeah, <laughs> yeah. Easy to situate. Yeah. We try to tend to not overfeed because no. we don't want to make the lambs too big, but we want to make yeah. sure they're in a good enough condition, obviously. That's the best thing, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of problems with overfeeding, don't we? Yeah, definitely. We find that overfeeding, like roughage, um, can have prolapses yeah. and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the... This is just bits of gut that's there. That's the yeah. gut, yeah. So just want to try and keep that in. And go fishing for a lamb. The legs are just right at the back, so I'm just going to go right down. Okay, try and get back to that. It's going to be easier. Up there. You need to scrub off and help just out. Yeah, you're fine, Joelle. Well, I'll probably pass your lamb. Yeah. Well, that's a good to go to. Do. But you can see that that is a back leg. Oh wow, yeah. So I'm just going to cut over there. That's your bust coming out a little bit more than it did. I'll put them back in a minute. Yeah, there's the water sack. Yeah, exactly. Just put this up there. Just 
Let's move it this way. There we go. Boy or girl? Uh, I've got a little boy. Oh. Very slippery little boy. <laughs> I should have said a ram lamb or a you lamb. Oh yeah, a ram lamb. <laughs> a ram lamb. Oh, uh, thank you, yeah, Lily. Very cruel away, kiddo, but he was quite happy with me. He's very happy. <laughs> in fact, I was very comfortable in there. He's nice and warm, won't you? There we go. Spit that out. There we go. Good boy. Oh, he's very lively. He's very lively. So I'll we'll just... Just in the other hole and break the right side. Right. Right. So you just try to pull that down from the other side. Yeah. So you've got one point like this. Oh, yeah. It's a bit smaller, isn't it? Yeah, they do have quite small legs, but. Oh, oh hello. Right. You're all right. Sit you there. All right, darling. We'll sit you there. All right. You're all right. You're getting your twin out now. She's so chilled out. I know, she's, she's amazing, well, isn't she? it? She's losing well. Good job. Are you rubbing the smell on her? Yeah. Oh, look at the size yeah. of it. Thank you very much. There's a lot of fluid. Just making sure there isn't another one inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Making sure I always double, double check. But no, that's there very good. There we go. Two, 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 two alive lambs. Two alive lambs and a ewe lamb at that. Oh. Quite lovely. So, so lovely. much. Thank you so much. That is both absolutely outcome. <laughs> the ewe is alive, the lambs are alive. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I don't know if it's too much more. If you want to see, this yeah. is your uterus from oh, the inside. Wow. So that's when you put your hand in. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what you're feeling, isn't it, all in here? So I just oh. made a decision there and we're just going to suture, suture that, that back, back up. up. It's Thank amazing. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for explaining as well. You're really fine. Thank you. Yeah, it's Honestly, I can't thank you enough. No, fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My ears are alive, my arms are alive. It's the way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, really, really appreciate it. In terms of like healing, how long does it normally take to heal the They so usually do pretty well. Um, so you can take stitches out. It'll be 10 days to take the stitches out. Um, they'll always have a scar, so... Yeah. It's a bit difficult if we... You know, sometimes you do a second scenario and it can be a little bit difficult um, where, the, where the scar is. Um, but no, they tend to heal quite quickly and do quite well. It is amazing, isn't it? You're standing back in here. Um, sure. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That sound never gets old. <laughs> no, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Hello. Oh, look at you and your feet. Hello, little one. You a noisy bee. Come on then. Come on then. Come on. Nah, 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 nah. Come on, sweetheart. Nah, 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 nah.
ready for a sex. <laughs> If you like this video, like and subscribe.